All right, let's say you have an IRA, a Roth IRA, and a taxable brokerage account. The question is, should you invest the same way in each of these accounts? I mean, should they have the exact same investments, the exact same allocation in all three? Well, you could. Certainly nothing wrong with it, but you need to consider how different investments are taxed as well as different tax advantages associated within these accounts. You see, the idea of spreading out among these three different types of accounts is called asset location, not to be confused with asset allocation. Asset location is very important because of the tax consequences involved. So, for example, with an IRA, you get a tax break up front when you make that contribution. It then grows tax deferred, but when you withdraw all the monies, that's when the taxes are due at your ordinary income tax rate. On the other hand, with a Roth IRA, you do not get a tax deduction up front, but it then grows tax deferred and tax free for qualified distributions. You have to follow the rules in order uh, to get that tax-free growth to happen. Now, the investments inside the IRA and Roth IRA, they could be bought and sold multiple times without a tax consequence because there are no capital gains tax or dividends tax to be paid when the investments are bought and sold. Now, when we get to the taxable brokerage account, that's a different animal. There is no tax deduction for contributions to be made in a brokerage account, but there are new restrictions, such as maximum amounts to contribute or income limits. However, underlying investments inside the taxable brokerage account are going to be taxed much differently than the IRA or Roth IRA. So, for example, if you purchased a security in the taxable brokerage account and then later sold it for a gain, that would be a realized gain, and it's taxed at capital gains tax rate. And that rate could be, it could be 0%, 15%, or 20%, depending on your income level, but for most people, it's 15%. Now, that being said, let's take a look at these three different types of accounts and give you some strategies and things to consider of how to invest in each of these type of accounts. Hey, but before we do, if we haven't met before, my name is Keith Wilson. I am a financial advisor helping folks just like you with their personal finance journey. And you may want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel as I post a lot of content about retirement planning and investing. While you're at it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Helps me more than you know. I would really appreciate it. Thanks. All right. Getting back to how we invest in these three different types of accounts. What's really important is to know how individual investments are normally taxed. For ex example, in an active mutual fund, they may generate capital gains distribution each year. Okay, what is that? You see, inside a mutual fund, it may hold, I don't know, 50 or 100 or more individual stocks. And that money manager of the fund will periodically buy and sell. And when they sell a particular stock inside the mutual fund, it may have a gain from when they purchased it years ago. And even though you may only have had that mutual fund for a year or so, that gain is proportionately distributed to its shareholders. And that capital gain distribution is taxed at capital gains tax rate. Now, as far as bonds are concerned, they pay interest, which is also taxed to you as it is earned throughout the year, whether you took it out or not. Now, some stocks or stock mutual funds pay dividends, which is also taxed to you in the year that you earn it. However, capital gains, dividends, and interest are not taxed in an IRA or a Roth IRA, only on the taxable non qualified brokerage accounts. So for an IRA, since capital gains, uh, tax and dividends and interest are not an issue, consider an allocation in actively managed funds with a mixture of bonds or bond funds. Now keep in mind, when you pull money out of your IRA, all of it will be taxed uh, to you at an ordinary income tax rate. Now, let me be clear. 
This is not investment advice or a recommendation of any mutual fund or other security. You're going to need to do the research which specific fund is right for you, read the prospectus for all the charges, expenses, and fees, all right? Now, for the Roth IRA, this should be your workhorse. Consider high growth stocks or stock funds that don't pay or pay a very little dividend because typically high dividend paying stocks tend to grow a little slower. Now, as for the non-qualified taxable brokerage account, the strategy would be to avoid capital gains distribution with an actively managed mutual fund. So consideration of investments in this type of an account would be exchange traded funds or ETFs, I don't know, index funds or individual stocks. Now again, this is not a recommendation, just ideas and strategies to consider. Also with a taxable account, you could take advantage of something called tax loss harvesting. So, for example, let's say you have I don't know, a mixture of securities inside the account. One may be up and the other may be down. You could consider selling those securities at a loss to offset selling some securities at a gain. Now, you would need to avoid what is called the wash sell rule, which means if you sold a security at a loss, then you bought it back or something substantially similar within 30 days, then that would, you know, negate that loss to write off. So to sum it up, in the IRA, consider a mixture of actively managed funds with a mixture of bonds or bond funds with the Roth IRA, consider higher growth stocks or stock funds, and with the taxable brokerage account, consider ETFs or exchange traded funds that are more passive, along with individual stocks or index funds. All of this is important because when you retire, and it's time to start withdrawing money from these different types of accounts, you could do it very strategically with some tax planning. Obviously, you want to pay attention to your risk tolerance, goals, and objectives. And before implementing any strategy, get with your financial advisor and your tax advisor. If you like what you're seeing so far, check out this next video. Subscribe to the channel. Lord willing, we'll see you next time.